Hello my brothers and sisters on the Dragon's Path. My name is Tim Hay and I believe in dragons. And I want to tell you something about the dragon spirituality that a lot of the world just don't believe in, but I believe in very much. Because seeing is believing. And I've seen a dragon just in front of me. Even though it was so special and so big that I refused the dragon in the beginning. Later on I didn't. I loved the dragon so much and I want to know more. So, excuse me, that was, uh, well, <coughs> excuse me, let's continue. And um, in the beginning that I, fen uh, I, I felt the dragon, I, I felt that there was so much more about this, so much more to tell about the dragon's path. And uh, I didn't even know that there was a path, that there was some, uh, a thing like the dragon's path, but there was, and it was my path. And humans in this world just tell you some things, paths that you can take and it's just limited. Or you can take the atheist path or you can take the Christian path and all of these religions. But there was one in particular that I was drawn to, not any of them, because I didn't care for their God. I didn't care for their non-believing things. I mean, I believed in the dragon because there was one in front of me and I couldn't go anywhere with this and that was so frustrating because I didn't, I couldn't go anywhere to people who can say what this was that I can say, wow, there are dragons everywhere and I love it, what can I do? You know, there was not a, a point, a place that I could go to see what, whatever is going on and that was so frustrating and actually uh, um, what is actually the, the history behind the dragon? There is a large history behind the dragon, a large history from people who were worshipping them until the, the moment that they were demonized. <clears throat> but what do you feel about the dragon? Did they, um, were they here in flesh and blood walking around in this forest, for example? Were they here <coughs> or were they spirits from the beginning and were they never um, flesh and blood but spirits from the beginning? Well, actually, both. What I I've, I've, um, came to discover years ago um, is that I can feel the presence of the dragon in this forest very much, but the presence of a spirit, but also from a spirit that used to live here, uh, also in flesh and blood. So there are dragon spirits that never were flesh and blood, but there are also dragon spirits that were dragon blood, uh, flesh and blood, I mean... Um, so both answers are right, because what I can feel is that the early creatures and the early spirits of this earth were dragons and the, and the guardians of it. So they were everywhere in spirit, but also in, in body, in flesh and body. So both answers <coughs> excuse me, are right. So um, whatever, how, you, how you view or how you, how you feel the dragon or the dragon's path, were they ever flesh and blood? Did they ever roam the earth? I, it's, it's possible. Actually, most of the guardians, most of them, have been here in flesh and blood. And they know what this earth is all about. They know about surviving. And they know about everything, everything that you come across. It's not that they've never been here. They have experience with surviving. They have experience with living here. That they were also afraid, that they also had these large um, emotions, that they also needed to survive and needed to breathe and needed to everything, just like we do. But as dragons, all the, the whole world were describing the dragon as uh, an animal with a large tail and a, a reptilian face, a reptilian scales. All the world were telling the tales of the dragon. They all have seen the dragon and they all have seen uh, how the dragon was portrayed as something fierce, as something that you should um, be afraid of. Also something that should that is your guardian. That is why the Vikings even in, in um, Norway and um, uh, Scandinavia always portray, uh, let the dragon be in front of their ship so it was protected. Of course that is not the way it works but yeah, humans of course, humans. They understand something, but the second thing they don't understand. But yeah, they um, let the, the dragon's head, the dragon's image was their protection. They were um, 
uh, carved in, into their ships, but also their churches when they were um, when they needed when they, when they um, were actually when it, it was we yeah, had the, the the church made them make churches, but it, they didn't actually know they were carving dragon heads <coughs> on on the on the churches. So it was actually their sign of protection. And uh, of course, uh, the, uh, the Catholics didn't know, but they did it anyway. <coughs> so yeah, the dragon. Um, I believe that my guardian lived on this earth. And I believe that my guardian is also the guardian of Tiamat, which means the earth. And I also am very drawn to the forest. So I believe that my, the dragon with me lived in the forest. And that is why I'm so drawn to it. That is why I also want to live in it. That is actually no joke. That is seriously, seriously a strong thing in, in myself. And that is also why I say to you that your strongest instincts should be followed. Everything that you feel should be followed. <coughs> and so, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, wow. <coughs> um, that also you should follow your own instincts and that you should know where your dragon is coming from but also your spirit what was your spirit was your spirit in flesh and blood or was it always been a spirit have you um in your instincts ask yourself this um have you some experience with a life before something that triggers you something um of course the dragon's image should trigger you, should trigger you, but if, if this is the case, if this is the case, if this, if, if a dragon image um, triggers you, if it's so beautiful to you, then I would say that your, yeah, that the, the energy within you as well has been flesh and blood before, but also your guardian. Some guardians never been flesh and blood, but it also is a dragon, but in this case, the, the guardians are, has always been there for, um, for protecting and for being there for Tiamat or Favnir or Pangu. Um, it's, it's just, I, it's, it's very complicated this one. Um, because there are so many variations of dragons. Spirits that has been, that had died, that has been living, that has been surviving for so many years. Uh, and uh, I believe also that it's true that a dragon lived for a very long time, very, very long. That they were the, des uh, the descendants of, uh, of gods, of, 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 of deities, and that is why they lived so long. But they didn't stay here forever. The dragons in flesh and blood, they didn't stay here forever. And uh, actually that was better this way because humans... Whatever they do, would do to the dragon, I don't like to think about that. I really don't. Because I, if, if I can see humans, how they rule over this world, they are saying that everything is, from, uh, is theirs. Everything is theirs. Everything that is alive, they decide who lives and dies. They are the gods for themselves. Whenever I see the world and humanity with my dr draconic eyes, I would say, yeah, they have left us. They have left uh, this 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 page, I could say, this side of the veil, and now they live on the dragon realm, the the dimension where the dragon is, and for good for good cause. I mean, if if they would live here, they would be hunted and killed, and it would be messed up to see this. If I could, if I can see how humans treat animals, it's just the same thing. They declare themselves as king, and I don't see humanity as king with a dragon eye. So, try to find out actually who your, who your spirit is. Did they live before? Did they, were, were they here in flesh and blood? Did they have fear like you do? Did they have happiness like you do? Whenever they uh, did something good or did something bad, or whenever they died even. I had visions of dying. <laughs> and that is traumatizing. And I believe that the guardian that is by your side, or even yourself, had died before. My brothers and sisters, be blessed.